Hello friends. In today's video, we will discuss how the 4 to 20 milliamperes analog signal of pressure transmitter or any transmitter is read with PLC or programmable logic controller. We have explained this in few steps through which you can easily understand. So, don't miss even a single step. Let's start it. The first step is transmitter connection. First of all, connect the pressure transmitter to the PLC. For this, you will have to use the terminals of the transmitter. Typically, the pressure transmitter or any other transmitter has two terminals, one positive and one negative. After connecting in PLC panel, connect the terminals of the transmitter to the analog input module of the PLC. Connect the positive terminal to the 4 to 20 milliamperes output of the transmitter. This terminal is usually the positive terminal of the transmitter. And connect the ground terminal to the negative of the transmitter. Next step is wiring check. Make sure the wiring is done correctly. And the terminals are tight. Incorrect wiring or loose terminals can cause wrong readings. Next step is configuration. Configure the settings of the transmitter's analog input module in the PLC. Set it to measure 4 to 20 milliamperes. Next step is PLC programming. You need to add logic to the PLC program to monitor the analog input. Use the PLC programming software and configure the analog input module. Assign the input module and set the scaling values. Now let's understand scaling. You need to set the scaling according to the output range of the transmitter. For example, if the transmitter is in the range of 0 to 100 bars, you will associate 4 milliamperes at 0 bars and 20 milliamperes at 100 bar with the corresponding values in the PLC. Next step is data reading by PLC programming. Read the analog signals coming from the pressure transmitter or any other transmitter. This will provide the actual reading of pressure in the PLC which you can use in your control logic. Next step is monitoring or control. The pressure readings read through the PLC will be monitored and used in control logic. Monitoring the pressure transmitter readings passed through a PLC and using them in control logic is part of an automation system. This means that by using a PLC, you can capture pressure transmitter readings in digital format and then use that data for various control logics. This allows you by detecting changes in pressure, temperature, level, flow or other parameters to control automation processes. There is one more important step in this and that is calibration and testing. Don't forget to verify the calibration of your transmitter, which will ensure accurate readings. Compare the pressure transmitter with known pressure and adjust calibration settings. If necessary, means do the calibration of transmitter if necessary. So friends, these steps are followed for the pressure transmitter or any other transmitter to read the 4 to 20 milliamperes analog signal from PLC. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.